Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Upcrate unboxing. Uh, this is the box for December of 2019 and I'm really excited to get into this one. So without further ado, let's just let's just do it. So the Upgrade box is a monthly art subscription box, kind of like the scroller box and, you know, colorful packs and art snacks and all of those little mystery boxes. However, the reason why I chose to try out this one is, well, partly because it's new and I, I want to see what's in here, but also it's located in inside the EU which means that shipping isn't like insanely expensive for me and that is something that I can appreciate. Also, how cute is this box? It looks like a little treasure chest. They got this whole like pirate theme going on, which is pretty cute. Okay, I wanna see what's in here. I wanna see what's in here, let's go. Oh, wow. Wait, they have... <laughs> They have a little personalized... It looks like someone's been writing this like by hand. What? Is this like... It's like a little vellum letter. Yeah, so obviously this is a December box and it came a fair bit. Like, it came early in December. Uh, but I haven't had the time to film this, so I'm sorry. Um, I've been itching to open this up for like a month, but I haven't because I wanted to do it on camera. So I'm, I'm kind of proud, proud of myself. Also, look, I'm kind of matching. <laughs> oh, okay. That's spoilers. Out of here. You also have... So a lot like the scroller challenge, they're doing a hashtag upgrade battle. So basically you get a topic or a prompt word and this month is Wonderland. We've also got some stickers, I believe. Oh, that's cute. I like those. I like this one a lot. It's so cute. Ho ho ho, season's greetings. Upgrade Sonia Stegeman, I think. Stegeman? Stegeman. So you get this little postcard. So cute. Art is freedom. Another sticker. Another sticker? Maybe? No, that's not a sticker. Oh, they also give, gave us like a little novelty gel pen. It looks like so we'll see which one we get they have a reindeer santa claus etc so we'll see what's in here we also have a blank i guess this is like meant to be kind of like a christmas card but you can use it for whatever card so this is a nice quality print i like this it's really pretty it says december and then you have Upgrade and the artist's name, which is Sonia. And then you have some information about the featured artist. Also, a lot like scroller box. Next up, we have a bunch of paper. Like, a lot of paper. We've got four sheets of white paper. And four sheets of black paper. They are not the same size, though. It's weird. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see all this stuff. Wow, <laughs> there is a lot of pens in here, like a lot of pens. Okay, so first I see the little little reindeer guy in a in a stocking. So this was the little Christmas gift that they gave you. That is one fine point. That is a fine point. Okay, next thing that I see are the art line sticks and these are the the ones that I, I don't really, you know, it's, it's a fun party trick that you can put them together, but I never understood like the ergonomic point of view with these because they are, well, suck on it, they are not comfortable to hold. But basically we've got some markers brush tip markers in three different colors and you can snap them together again which is fun but not very comfy to hold there you go i snap one and the other one unsnaps doesn't matter okay next we've got huh we've got the art line decorite which is for decorating and writing on card glass porcelain metal and plastic so i'm gonna guess this is some sort of like paint pen yes it's cool We've got a bunch of these. Oh no, this one's caps off. Is it gonna be dry? 
Oh no, that's a bummer. So the brown one, the cap, the cap was off, so prob probably done for. It's water-based pigment ink though, so I'm gonna see if I can maybe soak it a little bit or something. But oh, that makes me sad. So, anyways, oh, one more. Never mind. Oh, there's two more. Wait, okay. Anyways, you've got eight. Yes. Oh, there's also like brush nib, bullet nib, chisel nib. Can you see that? Huh. So you've got eight different pens. They've got a variety of colors and different nibs, I guess, so you can try things out. Because honestly, I feel like the colors in this box is like all over the place. And it's not really like one cohesive theme, which is fine, but... <laughs> Um, you know, for creating one piece of art, I couldn't see myself using all of these colors in one piece. Next up, we got one of my favorite fine liners in the size S or 0 0.3. They redid this barrel and I like it a lot. So yeah, anyways, it's it's a fabric as pit artist pen and it's a fine liner. Next up, we've got a pen pencil, a fabric as gold Faber B pencil. So yeah, it's it's a pencil. Next up, we've got the Faber Castell Metallics. It's a two pack, one silver, one gold, and this one is also suitable for many surfaces. So plastic, porcelain, glass, metal. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Okay, it looks like they've done it on fabric here with a little pencil pouch. After fixation in the oven, it's waterproof. That's that's cool. I like that a lot. You can use this for like porcelain and glasses and stuff if you want like a project. Huh, who would have known? Also, last but not least, I'll find my erg. Okay, so they gave you a whole button of stuff. Okay, so since they gave us the white sheet and the black sheet and some metallics and paint pens, I'm gonna assume that most of these things are gonna show up on both papers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through the swatches because there was nothing like really extravagant about anything, you know, you can you can see what's been going on. Uh, I really like the way the metallics show up on the black paper. Um, not overly impressed with the rest of the brush pens, and the opacity of them. Uh, you can see the white and the yellow are kind of meh and they're they're not very opaque. Um, outside of that, you know, everything is performing as you'd expect it to perform. So I'm not gonna dwell on this and I'm gonna get right into the upgrade art challenge. So the theme for this month was Wonderland and as I'm a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, this is immediately where my thoughts went. I decided to do the little rabbit falling like down the rabbit hole I suppose and trying to reach his, his pocket watch and you know he's always always late oh he's so late and I, I thought this was a cute idea. The main inspiration for this was the black paper and then I wanted the pocket watch to be golden and I ultimately decided to scrap the black paper because I was scared that I was gonna ruin things. <laughs> I was really happy with the way this was turning out and I actually did a sketch on my iPad before I even started doing it on the paper and just planned out how, how I wanted everything to be, trying to nail down the pose I wanted because I found it to be really tricky to make this pose look kind of natural, like it's actually falling and not just in some, some really weird position. But I'm I'm so excited with how this turned out. I'm really actually proud of myself. I love this. It's it's so cute. And so yeah, I was I was super excited working with this. Also I felt like the color palette that they gave us was a little all over the place, which I suppose would work in Alice in Wonderland because it is kind of a chaotic place as well. Um, however, I did not want this piece to feel all over the place and kind of messy, so I decided to keep things really, really simple and I stayed with a purely red and gold color palette. You'll see in a little bit though, I, I'm adding in a tiny bit of blue as well for the glosses and also for the, the gloss of the, the pocket watch. But outside of that, it's purely red and gold. Oh, here you can see that I am 
putting out some water and my palette and I'm actually using the um, art sticks and I'm scribbling a little bit of them on my palette diluting it with water so I, I suppose this is water soluble I couldn't find it anywhere but I think so and that's how I got this lighter pink for his little paws and his feet and also inside his ear. I also end up doing this with the blue for the glasses and for the gloss of the pocket watch. I'm also doing this with the black decorite marker for just some shadowing on the bunny himself because he looked a little bit flat and I felt like it needed some some more visual interest to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional and you guys I'm so happy with how this turned out I'm I haven't been this happy with a piece in a very very long time and I'm ah <laughs> I'm feeling really confident and positive that I'm actually um, improving in my art and I've been feeling for a while kind of imposter syndrome and I've been feeling like I'm not um, evolving, I'm not as good as I should be by now and after doing this piece and just going with my gut, this was the first image that popped into my head when I heard Wonderland and I saw what materials I had to work with and I'm happy I stuck to my first instinct and I'm I'm really happy with how this turned out. Oh also I did cheat a little bit. Yeah. I um I end up using my white uh not jelly roll was it what is it? Uh my my white Signo Uniball pen um to add the little reflection in the glasses and on the the watch as well. So yeah. I, I kind of cheated a little bit. I'm not sure if I got that on video because that was like the final touch. But yeah, after everything was done, I felt like it was kind of hard to define the bunny where he was because it's so much white and like a lot of things happening. So what I decided to do was to go over it with a thicker outline just to kind of make him stand out from the page a little bit more. And ugh. Oh, I love this decision. I'm also like defining some of his features, just making sure that you can see where his head and body is. And yeah, that's that's what I did. I'm really happy with this piece. Let me know what you guys think and if there's anything else that you'd like to see on this channel. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, happy drawing, and I'll see you later. Bye!